I don't think I'm allowed to talk about it. <laughs> I, I no, you can talk it. about it. I really no, I don't think I'm allowed to say. say. You don't. You, you can't. You're not allowed to say anything when somebody says that. on YouTube. <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> Mario character spin-offs series is movies, films, movies, games, shows, shows, all of the things you can think of. What do you what, what do you want to do with it? Oh, the same thing we always do. 10 yeah. 10 back. Ten. No, I mean, I mean ten and like, with we the said, character. What do you want to do with the character? Didn't we say it's whatever? It's like, what do you, you want me to go first? It? Sure. I'll just go yeah, first. you can go first. We'll set, hey. a, we'll set a template. Hey, I'm just going to go first. Go okay. ahead, number ten. Mr. Oh, Chuckers, you number one. Number ten. Wario. I want to see Wario in a movie. And I want this to be a romantic comedy. Now, I want this to be the worst romantic comedy that has ever been made. I want Wario to just fail at every aspect of getting this relationship off the ground. It's going to be a total opposite of what a romantic comedy is, and it's going to be great. Um, that's what I want out of Wario. That's what I think is the best spinoff for a Wario character. And you would like to see this as a movie? Oh, yeah, it's a romantic comedy. It's a movie Rom for sure. Com. Yeah. Rom com. Yeah. But the opposite, like where it's just really unsuccessful. You just can't. <laughs> it just doesn't work. Okay. I like that. My number 10 is Princess Peach. And the way I kind of envisioned how Princess Peach would spin off is kind of a Tomb Raider kind of character. Kind of like tough and mean instead of your damsel in distress kind of taking her character and going through the 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 way she's portrayed in most of the games and and series and it's like oh help me help me i'm trapped i've been stolen and then it's 10 seconds later cuts bang right into it running away from trap doors and and uh darts and giant rolling balls of rocks maybe donkey and, kong's there throwing stuff at him Yep, I love it. Yep, <laughs> I love. You know what I just envisioned was her getting kidnapped. The movie starting off with her getting kidnapped by Koopa, and then she takes Koopa down. Bang! Down. That's yep. how the movie starts. Yep. And then the rest of the movie is her just cleaning up the Mushroom Kingdom herself. <laughs> so face just been just destroying Goombas, and she's cleaning house. Uh, yeah. That'd be cool. All right, coming in at number ten, I have I have Waluigi. <laughs> Waluigi, I want to know what my my lanky man's getting up to, you know. Yeah, I want to know where he came from. I wanna, Ooh, his life story. I want to know his life story, you know. I want to know why he's uh, why he's so angry. He's pretty mad. He's a mad guy. <laughs> but he's got a great mustache. Incredible mustache. mustache. Uh, so now to number nine, right? All right. So here we go, Goomba, Goomba game. All right. So this is what Goombas do. Uh, they go Mario. They go Mario the Marios. So Goomba is just a, a swap. Goomba is Mario. Goomba grows big, shoots fireballs out of its mouth. Goomba <laughs> goes through the game, and he jumps on little Marios that are going around the game. Oh, wow. Yeah. Super, super Goomba brothers. A character right? swap. Yeah. You have super Goomba brothers. You've got a yellow Goomba, and you've got a brown Goomba. And that, that's the, the Mario Luigi palette swap, and they just go through and jump on Mario's and Luigi's. Luigi's the little turtle. <laughs> there you go. That's a good choice. I dig it. So my number nine is Donkey Kong. So I feel like in Donkey Kong, all the, the, the games that I played, on especially the Wii when they remastered Donkey Kong Country, I believe it was. Um, it seems like he's one of those characters that has some built-up 
like anger inside of him from his childhood and Absolutely. I could totally see a spin-off of them making a movie or a TV series about how DK was brought up into the world and how he how he grew up, you know, maybe went through college. You never know. Mm-hmm. Maybe he had a girlfriend that broke up origin with him. Story. Yeah, an origin story. Yeah. I mean it's kinda dumb when it comes to game time, so yeah, yeah. maybe like he was super smart and how did he get dumb? Yep. Yeah. Maybe a barrel falls on his head. Yeah. <laughs> that's why he hates barrels. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's that's where you're going on. Uh, coming <laughs> in at number nine for me, I'm uh, I'm close to IT with this. I have Peach coming in for now. Yeah. You know, I wanna I wanna know how she gets captured. You know, what she's yeah. doing. Maybe maybe like IT said, maybe she escapes. Maybe she cleans out. Yeah. Cleans out everybody. You know, that could be cool. But, uh, yeah. That, that is one of those characters that <laughs> if they ever decide if anybody ever took any of these ideas that we're having they would make so much money so maybe we should think about it but eight right eight, eight. Yeah. eight. Yeah. Yeah. So right the nines. my number eight is shy guys now what i want to see mm-hmm. out of the shy guys i want to see the office style shy guy <laughs> factory where they're training these guys up and they're teaching them to shoot uh, in their, they're teaching them the waterfalls and, and, and how they do the things in, uh, in game two. Uh, but I want to see it like the interview style and what's going on there in the business. And what are the things that make them tick and with the overbearing boss that, you know, tells off color jokes that people just don't really get or don't understand, uh, and don't respect. Like, I, I want that out of the shy guys. I want to feel what it's like to be a manufactured shy guy yeah good number eight i am following a trend on my own list here i want to go diddy kong now if you don't know diddy kong the nephew donkey kong i would like to see the third person perspective of the storyline of donkey kong so seeing how donkey kong goes through life but from a different lens, being little old Diddy Kong. I like that. Ooh. Because it could be like movie one in the series or or, or uh, season one is all the perspective of perspective of Donkey Kong going through his life, going through whatever, and then it's Diddy Kong in the background being like, like, uh, like, like good cop bad cop kind of a thing where he's the idiot in a sense and donkey kong is the genius and then donkey kong gets hit by the barrel and diddy kong has to take care of him that's why they're together there's some back to hell oh Bang. yeah that'd be, that would be cool wow. that's what cool. i'm here for number eight i have i actually have wario at number eight Ooh. um mm-hmm. i enjoyed the uh did you guys ever play wario wear Yes. On the Wii. <laughs> yeah. The game was awesome, man. Uh, it was fun. But yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing, you know, maybe uh, maybe a movie or a series about uh, Wario taking over Mario Land and uh, that whole that mm-hmm. whole deal from uh, maybe from his perspective. You know, see what what is what are his motives? Why did he do it? What's going on in that chubby little head of his? <laughs> <laughs> Yep. We're going to number seven. My number seven, uh, I'm going to go with Yoshi. And what I want to see out of Yoshi is, I think about what does Yoshi do? Well, he eats stuff. He's got a tongue. It's really long. (laughs) So Yoshi is going to basically run his own kind of a uh, cooking challenge show. uh, (laughs) Where he, of course, the judge uh, and chooses the dishes. Um, And, of course, he'd probably be very bad at it since he really only eats... Uh, berries and uh, you know <laughs> cookies, so it's going to be kind of difficult for him. But uh, it would be re- pretty fun. Be like the Gordon Ramsay of the Mario world. Yep, Gordon the Ocean. Challenge show, more like uh, <laughs> like Alton Brown from uh, Cutthroat Kitchen. Oh yeah, yep. yeah, Cutthroat Cutthroat Kitchen. That's a good one. Yep. All right, on to number seven. I've got Captain Toad. Now where i was captain toad he's the captain my idea of this would be similar to like a smurfs kind of series 
where the Toad universe is kind of a giant family. They all work together. They do their thing. And you kind of follow the personality of Captain Toad. All right. Number seven. Number seven, I have Princess Daisy. I want to know. I want to know how hard it is to rule four kingdoms. You know, what does she? What does she have to do every day <laughs> to take care of that? To take care of all that. We could make a like a, I don't know, like a rom com maybe. She's got some love interests. I don't know who's going on in there. Hey, there you go, like a bachelor style. Yeah, like a bachelor, bachelorette. Yeah, that's cool. I like That'd that. That'd be a good one. Uh, my so moving down to six now. Uh, my number six is Toad. Uh, this is also yeah. a game, and uh, this game I want to see is a Minecraft sort of building the kingdom as little oh. toads running around and and you know basically <laughs> uh, it, it's a build them out game where you put everything together the yeah. you know, similar fashion where you dig dig out the ground and and build up the the mushroom yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. I thought about I that because of all the mushrooms that are in. The big red <laughs> mushrooms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good choice. Good choice. Number six for me is... It's it's kind of a sad one. Not the character, but the story that I thought of it. But it's Thwomp. Ooh, yep. The giant stone that goes up yeah. and down and gets yep. angry and shakes and then... Just, and most of the time it misses. But that is the story. The, the plot line is he just hangs up in the air all the time and nothing really happens. And when he gets his big chance, his big opportunity, he swings and he misses. Mm-hmm. Way to bring no. the time down. Sorry. Kind of sad, you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, number six. I have now. There've been a lot of uh, there've been a lot of spinoffs with this this character already, but I have of Luigi coming six i would kind of like to see uh i would kind of like to see a movie where you know luigi's been luigi's been living in mario's shadow for a while and uh he kind of becomes like uh like an anti-hero and he, uh, he goes off and does his own thing and tries to one-up mario you know yeah but uh in the end it'll bring them closer hey there we go there you go all right so we're gonna bring it back up here i'm gonna go number five this bring is, it up uh, this is cheap cheap the game now you take uh, it's just like Angry Birds, uh, but what you're doing is, is the objective <laughs> is is you're shooting the cheap cheap, so you're shooting them, you're shooting the fish with the wings, and you shoot them through the sky, and you try to take out Mario as he's running through the level. So your whole it's it's Angry Birds where you're trying to knock Mario out. The farther he gets away, the harder it is to get him. And you're <laughs> shooting the birds at Mario, trying to take him out before he gets to the flagpole. Mm-hmm. Yep, mm-hmm. Cheap cheap game. My number five is going to be in the same family as my number six, but it is Womp, Womp. the big giant slate stone. Mm. He'll have a little more interesting of a story because he doesn't just hang around and do nothing and wait for his enemies. He has limbs, so he could do a little more, but his storyline would be similar where it's got away from my opportunity and then... Usually misses. Womp. Womp. <laughs> Womp. <laughs> not as sad as just not as just sad as sitting up in the air in the dark waiting for something to happen. Womp. 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 And Womp. Womp. All right, coming in at number five, I have Baby Bowser or Prince Bowser or Bowsy or mm. it Baby Baby Koopa, I think they called him too. Um, now it was would be a game. And um, the main focus of the game would be to annoy Kamek as much as you possibly could <laughs> while he's taking care of you. <laughs> See how much mischievous stuff you can get into. That's awesome. All that kind of stuff, you know. You like wrestling podcasts? Oh boy, I'm a big time wrestler and I love Wrestling With Fans Podcast. Wrestling With Fans Podcast is a great place for friendly wrestling conversation, news, and reviews. Kyle does unboxing videos and occasionally brings on guests. Wrestling with Fans Podcast is found on all your major platforms. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, 
TikTok, and much, much more. So if you're in the mood for some wrestling conversation, check out Wrestling With Fans Podcast right now. WrestlingWithFans.com. Oh, yeah, that's that's some good wrestling. Yeah, that's WrestlingWithFans.com. All right, so so that's fives are done. We're on to four, right? Number four. All right. Uh, this one I'm pretty proud of. Uh, oh, boy. This is Daisy. Uh, this is a movie. It is a Lifetime original. Uh, jealousy. It's about Daisy <laughs> and uh, how Peach has always had the, the limelight. And it's about uh, the frustration that builds up into her when she does some very lifetimey uh, bad things. Yeah. Uh, to try to get uh, Peach's station in life, uh, it, it would be a, 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 a horror style, but in, in the life lifetime kind of uh, um, <coughs> less horrifying kind of. Wow, good choice. Yeah. Good choice. Okay. Number four for me is Cami Koopa. Cami Koopa. I would just like to see, this is another perspective thing, of how emotionally kind of traumatic it would be to be uh, Bowser's basically right-hand person, you know? But, you know, Bowser isn't a very nice person, so I would assume it wouldn't be a good good emotional relationship for either of them. And how and how uh, how she, how Cammy could uh, Cammy Cooper could recover from such a thing? All right, uh, coming to number four, uh, pretty similar to my number five. I have I actually have come back himself, you know, uh, uh-huh. which would be uh, this would be kind of like a like a movie or a, a series of um, all the stuff that he has to deal with, you know, giving Bowser advice, you know, dealing with the Koopa Troop stuff, all that kind of stuff, but. Uh, no, I think it'd be really cool to uh, to see what he's doing. Oh yeah, and uh, see what he has against Yoshi. You know, was uh, that was our number fours? So number to fours. Number three. Number three. Top three, baby. Top threes. Here we go. Um, my number three is Wart. Wart, the, Wart. Wart. the big boss from uh, from Super Mario Brothers Two. Uh, okay. What I want out of Wart is I want a TV show, specifically an episode of Undercover Boss. I want Wart. <laughs> To now in his dungeon, and like with his mousers and everybody, and I want him to try to go undercover, and them have to pretend that he is in fact who he's pretending to be, uh, and they have to believe, like pretend he's not, like he's working for them, and it doesn't go <laughs> well. Obviously, anyone who tries to treat him like a new guy, Ward isn't going to stand for that. Obviously, so uh, there will be some shenanigans. Uh, it'll be a good episode for sure. Number three, I also have an undercover kind of story. It would be Undercover Billionaire, which is kind of a lesser known show. Um, but it is King Boo. So oh, basically, Undercover Billionaire, the story is a guy or a person gets uprooted out of their billionaire lifestyle on purpose and has to go build an empire with a truck, a hundred bucks, and a cell phone. And I think King Boo, <laughs> I would love to see <laughs> how he can go from being the king of the paranormal world in the Mario universe to starting from the ground up. Nobody knowing who he is. Maybe putting a little Waluigi-style uh, mustache on there and rocking it out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that could be cool. My number three, big top three, I have Toad. Now this would be like a like a little mini series where um, where you see all the times that that Mario Mario asks Toad for help and he's like oh man I gotta do this now I gotta do no, this for you what do you what do you, yeah, what, do you <laughs> what does what does this man want for me now you know yeah. I gotta pick something up for him I gotta, I gotta drive something for him mm-hmm. I gotta hold his freaking mushrooms for him <laughs> yeah yeah Toad's Toad's adventures with Mario. Um, ba, ba, ba. Uh, number two. That was a different list. <laughs> number two. Um, <laughs> this one's this one's been brought up before. This is Princess Peach. And what I want out of Princess Peach here, I want. I want a Game of Thrones in the Mushroom Kingdom. I want. Oh wow! 
dueling houses oh. of the toads a house of the of the that tortoises the you know the turtles a house of you know these houses are uprising mm -hmm. trying to bring their own uh people in and it's just a mushroom kingdom war, war of people yeah. trying to take down princess peach and seize the throne for themselves i love it yeah that would be awesome wow that's great and it sucks that uh nintendo is just trash company to try to make things work yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, we, I just, I just said the word Nintendo. We're probably gonna get absolutely deleted off the face you of can, earth. You can so. just get blown away. You can <laughs> it. You can it. Yeah, that was my so number. number two, I have Yoshi, oh. and oh. my plot behind that. this one is Yoshi is a young kind of twenties person kind of character that is going into the dating world and he tries to go on all these dates and speed date and can't get anything right and uh the reason is because of his eating habits oh no and the only things oh, that he no. can eat yeah all he has to do is show him what that tongue do <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. oh no! Bleep! <laughs> Alrighty, alright. My number two just also so happens to be Yoshi, but <laughs> we're gonna go in a different uh, a different direction. It's gonna be kind of like a uh, a Need for Speed Yoshi edition, where you are, you have you have Mario on your back. And uh, you're doing stuff. You gotta God, trick out eggs. Yoshi's. You gotta yeah. take out some enemies. Oh, wow. Race them through the Boy, map, you know? I like it. It'd be pretty fun. That's pretty they good. They get like shoe rims. Like on their head. <laughs> yeah. So, like, they get like Shiny. special rims and stuff. You can know. Yeah. Black nitrous. Down. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Saddle nitrous. <laughs> nitrous infused uh, apples. You can upgrade the Mario that's on your back, you know? With the little fireballs and stuff. So, like a, like a Mario Kart, but. Yoshi. Yeah. yeah, but you but you are the cart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you are the cart. <laughs> well, shoot, guys. Let's go through our um, honorable mentions um, and dishonorable mentions. This time, I'm actually going to go honorable. I usually like dishonorable, but I'm going to go honorable this time. Uh, this was an idea that I had that I kind of wanted to flush out or flesh out or whatever the word is. Uh, mm. it, it, I want a story about the power up marsh mushroom right and oh. i want to know what it takes for that power up mushroom to become an extra life mushroom mm. like is it like a, a like american ninja warrior is it like a, an obstacle course you know what is it what's the training what what did an extra life mushroom go through <laughs> the mushroom did the american ninja upgraded. warrior course yeah Whatever it is, I need to see this. It could be a cooking it's just, competition. It's just me in a mushroom suit doing the Ninja War. Oh no! <laughs> Let's make it happen, dude. That could be awesome. That could be awesome. I'd love to so, see. So yeah, that. so that's my uh, honorable mention. Is, uh, yeah. Ah, really good. My honorable mention is Luigi. Oh. I think, I think, uh, in all in all, Luigi. Luigi doesn't get enough limelight, but the story that I've kind of played into it is Luigi and Mario going through their lives as children and Luigi kind of having a lower hand in every situation. Oh, kind wow. of uh, kind of like the, oh, there was a movie about people that were genetically modified and one was a superhuman and the other one was just this average Joe, but uh, that's where I was kind of going with it. Um, where Luigi would just be a normal little dude just doing his thing, not as not incredibly smart, not incredibly athletic, not as handy. And then Mario, on the other hand, was everything Luigi wasn't. Oh shoot, dude! You know, uh, you know what just hit me with that when you said you said average Joe and everything reminded me of average Joe's gym. I started thinking about dodgeball. Like, what if Mario runs the biggest plumbing, you know, chain? in town and here's little luigi and he's got himself a small plumbing little chain. mom and pop and shop. you know he's trying to get shoved uh, out and yeah and that's how him and mario get hooked up is because they end up as rivals in the plumbing yeah oh, wow that's cool oh 
Now, I actually have I have two honorable mentions, and they're uh, they're kind of in the same um, same wheelhouse. It's Bullet Bill and Chain Chop. They're kind of <laughs> they're, uh, they're stuck. They're stuck. They can they can only do one thing. Mm-hmm. Chain Chop, he's stuck on a chain. He can. It's like a dog, you know, a rabbit dog. He's trying to get you. you but, uh, Bullet Bill, you know, he gets he gets shot that way, and he goes that way, and then he hits a wall, and he's done. That's all he can do. It's over and over and over. So I'd like to see, uh, I don't know, maybe like a short film about uh, what their lives are like. Something something kind of lighthearted and funny. Yeah. Or maybe like how they break away from it. Like that. Oh, yeah, bullet. yeah. Like the bullet finally turns and it's like. Wait, I didn't know like I could a, do this. The bullet, the bullet bill from uh, from Mario Kart. They can plow through everybody. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I've upgraded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. Good honorables. So that brings us to number one. So this number is one. it, guys. Uh, this is the best idea I had. Um, even better than Peach uh, Game of Thrones, Mushroom Kingdom Game, Game of Thrones. It's Boo. Now. Boo. Boo. I want to know where Boo comes from. I want to know who the man that becomes Boo was. Wow. I want to know. I want that backstory. I want to know what that man was, what he did to become the evil ghost that he turns into. And Mm -hmm. why is he so bashful? What's he afraid of? Why can't he look you in the eye? What is he hiding? What is he hiding? What is, how does he feel? And why did it take him dying to become this ghost? What was it Mm -hmm. that caused this man to become this ghost and how did he get stuck yeah. as a ghost maybe he's you know, like why uh, is he roaming like, castles now maybe he's like medusa everyone he looks at dies yeah so he doesn't look at people anymore yeah mm. he's gotta he just, mm. that's why he's a ghost he's he can't be a can't be a part of it so wow. i want to know that story i want to know what that is that horror that's gonna be a that's gonna be a pretty scary movie take out take out take out take so my number one is going to a Bowser series where Bowser goes through his whole life being this treacherous evil monster and then something just strikes his heart and he realizes that life is so fragile and he becomes this fun loving giant teddy bear character that everybody oh, kinda, loves to be around kind of like and, the Grinch yeah yep yep that's awesome that's awesome I love that yep the Grinch who stole the princess <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, that's that's that there you good. go. There's your title. Cooper. All right. Uh, my number one is uh, kind of a, it's similar to both of yours. It's a uh, it's going to be a horror movie in mm-hmm. Bowser's castle. Oh boy! Ooh, oh wow! So, yeah, I mean that trapped. encapsulates both of them. You just see, like <laughs> you're trapped. You're trapped in Bowser's castle, and you gotta get out. You gotta find your way out of there. Would you do it cartoon wise or like IRL? Part of this, I feel like it would have to be more cartoonish. found footage. A found, oh, footage, found footage VHS. Oh, oh, that would be sick. Yeah, that's that's what it has to be. It has to be, yeah. Oh yeah. my, I dig it. I dig it. Oh, Excellent. All right, when are we right, making right. these movies? <laughs> I know, literally. Yeah, once yeah, again, once... that's what we got to do. We got to sit down, we got to write them out, and we got to represent them to people. We got to bring them back yep. out. This is that's gonna be a what series. We came up with. These are the these are the movies. These are the shows. These are the games. That's awesome. There were some good ideas here. Excellent. Those yeah. Some wonderful. Hot that takes. was. Those were all multi-million dollar ideas. So if anybody out there wants to steal them and try to give them Nintendo, you can just, have just put our name on there. You can you have say, I just want. I just want to say the guys of Game Nerdia figured this out. But awesome. Put a QR code at the end of the movie. Yeah, a QR code at the end of the movie. <laughs> I'm with it. Cool. Well, good job. Thanks for joining us. Top yeah. 10 Mario character spinoffs. I love you guys. Love you. I love Have... you too. Hot take, hot take, hot take. Hot take, 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 hot take